If nobody else likes to question you, I've, uh, I found your approach very interesting that you said um, uh, the copyright owner or the author should have a, a right to share in the benefits um, because that is something we're not talking about nowadays when we talk about copyright remuneration uh, because the whole system, um, well, it, it, it um, bases on the uh, idea of exclusive rights and when you reduce it, um, the exclusive right, in order to have an exceptional limitation, uh, then you'll have a, a levy. And this is something completely different because a levy will be paid um, independent of the fact whether there, is some whether there is some actual benefit for the user or not. So you have to pay for the, sum, for, for the use in any case, um, uh, no matter um, if the, the other person, the user, benefits in commercial terms or not. But it is a completely different approach to say um, he has the right to share in the benefit because there has to be one benefit until mm -hmm. uh, he gets this, this claim uh, um, to share it. And this, I find this very interesting because it's a very, well, just basic questions, um, how to transform um, a system that we have today into uh, some, some other approaches. Uh, maybe you should rethink the idea of um, that every use has to be paid for um, to, uh, to the idea um, there is some interest um, of the author or the rights holder um, that is absolutely adequate um, and that should be served, um, but this interest is raises only when there is some benefit that is um, uh, raised by the user and if not there is no there is no payment right so i think that the essence of shifting from a proprietary regime that requires a license for each and every use even if you're losing by using right the the, the content to a legal regime that is actually based on a restitutional instinct right I mean, you can use my work, you can read the book that I wrote, but if you're making money out of it, give me a share, right? I mean, so if this is something that is, you know, for personal use, that could be a proxy for it, right? But if for personal use you're making money somehow, then um, I think the author should uh, get a share from it. And I think what is interesting is that we are now reaching a stage where we actually have the tools for it. But these tools of monitoring use are being abused, I would say, to detect whether a work was actually posted or displayed or played or performed. But these are all proxies for the actual tasks that we were looking for, that is, whether it makes money or not, right? So I don't care if you copied it or displayed it, if you manage to generate profits, then that should target the entitlement of the author. Otherwise, free access should prevail. Uh, my name is Oliver Kassendijk. I also found your um, uh, ideas very inspiring and very interesting. Um, with regard to the German um, debate uh, on copyright reform, uh, I would say one of the major topics and major problems is the question um, which was raised also by Till Kreutzer, how far we could go with a levy system or with in enlarging levy systems. And uh, the problem I wanted to pose um, and we will, which will come up in this discussion is um, um, the price mechanism or the, the absence of a proper price mechanism. Because um, normally a levy in Germany at least, uh, or in many other European countries, is set by a governing body like Patentamt or uh, um, by a kind of um, commission uh, or in the end by judges. Mm -hmm. um, and um, we have, of course, experience with this kind of systems in from the Middle Ages on um, where bread prices were set by um, governments <laughs> uh, but it is um, it has proven to be 
a non-efficient system of, of allocation, to put it mildly. So how can we enlarge levy systems without losing the core, the essence of our system, which is a price mechanism? So that's a very good question. Um, I think um, what, I've been, what I was su suggesting is not a levy in the sense that there would be a fixed price to some service or some commodity then, that would then be distributed among owners. But that would, what we will do is that first we will actually attach the right to uh, revenue for some, to some compensations to the work, to the actual work, so that a work that is more successful will get more than a work that is less successful. Let's say that each time anyone makes a profit from my book, they need to, to give me one percentage, right, of, of any type of revenues they make, like they put commercials on it, fine, they display it online, and, and charge a license fee. Someone is willing to pay for it even though it is freely available. That's okay. Whatever uh, price is being charged, or whatever revenue is extracted from the use of the work, in, uh, then let's say I'm entitled to one percentage, or of course less, right? We will talk about micro percentages. And then the, the uh, price system will work in the sense that it would, um, the market system or the, mar the, the role of copyright in creating a market and actually also determining what's important, what should be more successful than others, um, will still work as opposed to the levy system that requires a committee to decide how much you pay and then how it is being distributed between the different players. Um, so I, I don't think that we should think we, we should use the levy anymore. I think that we should use the technologies that allow us to uh, get to, to actually monitor revenues, which is better than monitoring use and then to transfer the share um, rather than fixing a price without any information. That's the idea. Thank you very much, Sarah. Sure.